Okay, exercise 9.1 says, in an agronomic field experiment, blocks of land were subdivided into two plots of 346 square feet each. The plots were planted with two varieties of wheat using a randomized blocks design. The plot yields um, in pounds of wheat are given in the table. And uh, I didn't copy all the data, but it says in, in block one, variety one produced 32.1 pounds and variety two produced 34.5. Okay, A says calculate the standard error of the mean difference between the varieties. So we're looking for the standard error of the difference, okay? And so this is just going to be, I, I'm really only cop interested in um, this difference column, okay? And so this is going to be the standard error, uh, standard deviation of the difference divided by the square root of n. So in this case, we have 0 0.68 divided by the square root of n. Uh, we have four varieties, so 0.68 divided by 2, 0.34. B says, test for a difference between the varieties using a paired t-test with alpha equal to 0.05. So alpha is equal to 0.05. So our paired t-test, we would have a t-statistic, okay, is going to be um, our difference minus 0 divided by um, the standard error of the difference. And in this case, that is going to be, the difference is negative 1.65 minus zero divided by the standard error of the difference, 0 0.34. And so here we get negative uh, 4.85. Okay, oh, and I'm sorry, I need to uh, list off my null hypothesis. So the null hypothesis is that the difference I'm sorry, the mean difference is equal to zero, and the alternative is that the mean difference is not equal to zero. Okay, and so here uh, we have a t statistic of negative 4.85, all right, and so our degrees of freedom is n minus one, or in this case, four minus one is three degrees of freedom. So we go to the back of the book and we look for uh, three degrees of freedom and we saw, see that uh, 4.85 is between uh, 0.01 and 0 0.005. So the upper tail uh, probability, it's going to be between 0 0.01, uh, uh, the p-value, or the upper tail probability is between 0 0.01 and uh, 0 0.005. Okay. All right, but this is a two-tailed test. It's a two-tailed test because our uh, alternative hypothesis is that mu d is not equal to zero. So it's not mu. The mean difference is greater than zero or less than zero, but it's not equal to zero. So it's a two-tailed test which means our p-values is going to be between um, between 0 0.02 and 0 0.01, okay? But both of those p-values are smaller than our alpha at 0 0.05. So, um, so p-value, I'm writing all over the place, is less than alpha, so we reject uh, the null hypothesis, and we say we have evidence that there is a difference between um, the varieties of uh, wheat. Evidence that there's difference in yield, in the mean yield between the uh, varieties of wheat. Okay? So that's uh, part B, using uh, the test with the means or differences. And then part C asks us to do it the incorrect way uh, and treating these as two independent samples rather than a paired design. Bumped the uh, camera here. Okay. Um, so well, let me just write part B is we rejected uh, H0. Okay, so in C, in order to, uh, to do this, we have to do the 
first find the standard error of the difference, y1 bar minus y2 bar. Okay, and that is equal uh, to the square root of s1 over s1 squared over n plus over n1 plus s2 squared over n2. So in this case we have the square root of 1.76 squared divided by 4 and then we take we're adding 1.72 squared divided by 4 and we get the uh, standard error of the difference is equal to 1.230 okay uh, again our uh, null hypothesis is that mu um, is actually going to be mu1 minus mu2 is equal to 0 and the alternative is that mu1 minus mu2 does not equal 0 okay our t statistic is going to be equal to y1 bar minus y2 bar uh, minus 0 divided by the standard error of the of y1 bar minus y2 bar and so um, y1 bar minus y2 bar is 1 point negative 1.65 minus 0 divided by the standard error of 1.230 okay and now we have degrees of freedom Degrees of freedom is uh, um, n1 plus n2 divide, uh, minus 2, which is going to be 4 plus 4 minus 2. So we have 6 degrees of freedom. And oh, I'm sorry, over here, uh, negative 1.65 divided by 1.23 is negative 1.34. OK, so we go to our t table, and we are looking for negative 1.34 under 6 degrees of freedom. And we see that um, this is. With this, our uh, p-value, our upper, I'm sorry, not our p-value, but our upper tail probability is between uh, 0 0.20 and 0 0.10. So our p-value is going to be double this, is going to be between 0 0.40 and 0 0.20. All right, and so here we would not reject the null hypothesis okay but this is incorrect because uh, because of the blocking we can look just at the difference these uh, because of the blocking these are not independent uh, samples uh, and we can look directly at the di difference and just uh, and do the calculation based on the difference not treat them as independent um, samples so whenever you have a block with only two um, two observations in each block, uh, treat it as a paired sample.